Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Want to look at some exciting things coming up in the beta release right now, but soon to be full release of Krita 440. Some cool stuff. Let's dig into that. Okay, so once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. This is your first time. I do a lot of work on this channel to build a community of learning to surface the cheap or free technologies, the art technologies that are out there so you can know about them and make good use of them. So thank you so much for joining in. Uh, this particular spin, this particular time, we're going to look at Krita. We've done a lot of previous videos on Krita, a lot of exciting things that have come around between the workspace and the animation piece and all that stuff. But for four for O, they did a lot of focus work on uh, layers and brushes, and I just want to touch on those so you can know that they're coming around. Or if you're feeling really adventurous, you can go download the beta and try them out right now. So let's dig in. All right, so in Krita, I have set up uh, just some basics here that we can play around with as we go. Uh, but for the moment, let's look at some of the new fill layer options so I'm gonna, i drew this shape so you can get a good sense of how this is going to work and i'm going to select just the uh interior of it here in fact let me clean this up just a bit there we go just the kind of the perspective part of it and i'll explain why uh, i'm going to jump into a new fill layer i'm using the plus here fill layer and we have some new things in here which are kind of cool uh, there is this multi-grid idea which is for uh, drawing out some different geometric shapes for drawing out uh, different kinds of calculated shapes particularly um, and you can play with how exactly that renders out you can um, mess around with the dimensions of that and the divisions and this is really doing the math for you which is really cool um, for what actually is going to happen with this generation of images. So you could use this to easily shortcut and, and create a pattern, of a very uh, geometrically pleasing pattern very quickly, um, thinking about textures, thinking about uh, even just the background screen uh, very simply with this. Um, so that's the multi-grid, some really cool implications there. <clears throat> Patterns were there before. Um, what's new though, I think, is some of the transform options where those can be rotated. You can kind of see how that can now fit better in the context of something with perspective, uh, which is really cool. Uh, same idea with screen tones, and I believe this was more geared in reading the description towards um, comic designers or illustrators because this is kind of like the, the background texture or, you know, kind of a, a paper texture type of thing that's put in there, and there's some options here where you can change that. Uh, and the type of, of element that goes in the background. And like with the other patterns, you do have the same options of giving it tilt and rotation and making it match better to, to what's in there, which is really, really cool. Um, so those are some neat things. This last one was mentioned, and I'm kind of looking at this with a curious eye. There's a lot of science behind this feature, the set EXPR. And you notice how they say Disney here. <laughs> um, this is actually a technology that's used primarily by Pixar's rendering engine. I think they have a specialized tool and by Maya. And what it really does is it's generating graphics purely based on script, purely based on code, rather than having a raster, rather than having an image that you're working with, a high quality image. And as I understand, that saves on space, on computational effort and resource. And it's a really cool mechanism. I'm kind of curious to see where this goes in the Critis space. They do have the 2D animation module, uh, which I guess could theoretically scale up if you're working on a really super high res image. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of curious, curious to see where this goes. There's a whole scripting element to this and you're able to manipulate the ones that are there either by code or by just changing up the colors uh, clicking on expand selecting the the color range and then you can modify that and make some changes and um, you can see what that does 
as you do that there's also uh, under the script tab different patterns to mess around with and there are ways to make your own again you're generating these from script there's some documentation out there in the manual i encourage you to go look at it if you're curious it does get a bit technical because again the idea here is you're generating images based on script and that may be a bit deep it's interesting but it may be a bit deep um so know that it's in there and there's some interesting uh, options right here and that could be something if you're really interested to dig deeper into it's it's around all right so those are the fill layer options uh, that have been added with the transform some really interesting uh, developments there there were some also some improvements with brushes uh, they added something called a brush gradient map and I had to really dig this out because it's just hard to find uh, the, the manual I found wasn't quite <clears throat> as forthcoming with information as I'd like. So I'll take you through it. Whenever you select a brush, <clears throat> doesn't matter which one, they want you to look at the brush preset options. And the way to get there is a really tiny button up here where the kind of the same picture or icon of that brush appears. You have to click on that. <laughs> and then within there, you get the preset options. And under there, you have this new pattern section under texture which you can flip on and you can see okay well now we have options for different things and you can look through the manual of what they do but gradient map is now there where you can add gradients to your brushes uh, so you can add that kind of texture element as you paint you can create that you can say that as a new brush which is kind of cool so you don't overwrite the one that's there uh, i don't know if you knew you could expand your brushes like that that's how you do it where you can work from a preset and making the necessary modifications and then save it and um, you can make use of that so some really interesting cool things that you can leverage to speed up how you build and how you paint and how you do things i hope that's helpful and eye-opening and gives you uh, some excitement some things to look forward to with Krita 440 uh, there are some other things that are out there there are boatloads of bug fix that are getting implemented which is interesting because i haven't really had a bad experience with Krita, but apparently there's lots of stuff that other people are noticing that need to get fixed so they are getting wrapped up in this new major release which is great go download it try it out check it out and uh, enjoy the experience so if this was helpful, I would really much appreciate a thumbs up to let me know that this resonated with you. Also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the great stuff that I plan to do in the future and also so you can get a good look at the stuff in the past and uh, know where we've come from. We've touched on a lot of different technologies, whether it's video editing, whether it's screen capture, we're gonna look at some audio editing before the, uh, too much time passes, I'm getting into that. Uh, a whole different slew of things. We've done comparisons. Uh, we've done discussions on content creation. So I really encourage you to go check out the array of uh, information that's available to you and lastly i invite you to leave a comment ask a question get involved with the community and not just for me but for anybody who watches because i really love it when we help each other grow and get stronger in our knowledge of how tools work what they do and how they can benefit you and your endeavors so thank you so much i'll see you at the next video and like before you know there's videos there and there enjoy one thanks